All right, this workout is called toned legs and butt. So we're gonna be working our lower bodies today and we're gonna be doing our exercises for time in this workout, okay? So we're gonna be doing 45 seconds on and 15 seconds rest in between each exercise. We have five exercises in a circuit, okay? You guys ready? Okay, we are gonna start with walking lunges. Okay, you guys, so 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. You guys ready? And here we go. So in our walking lunges, okay, what I want you guys to do is take a big step forward and then come down into that lunge like this, okay? So you'll notice here when I'm in the bottom of my lunge, my chest is up, I'm not leaning forward, not rounding my back, okay? Chest is up, big step forward. Now, if you guys are in your room and you can walk and lunge all around your room, go for it. You'll notice here, we're just doing like two steps forward, two steps back kind of thing, okay? Make sure that chest stays up. Now, I failed to mention, we're doing this whole workout body weight. So if you guys wanna make it a little bit harder, feel free to grab some dumbbells, grab some gallon jugs filled with water, add some resistance here. All right, guys, that's our 45 seconds. Go ahead and shake out those legs. We've got bridges up next. So let's come down to our mats. We're gonna work our glutes here. Okay, you guys, you guys ready for this? Booties up, hips up towards the ceiling. And here we go, up and squeeze. All right, you guys, here's some form tips. In our bridges, what I want you guys to think about is pushing through your heels. So you can actually kind of wiggle your toes. Can you guys wiggle your toes a little bit? Wiggle those toes. That ensures you're pushing through your heels. Hips up, squeeze. Okay, everyone, we're gonna do something, ready? Push it up and hold it here. Now right here, I want you to push it up about two inches or an inch or so higher and squeeze and then come down. Did you guys feel that? Way more intense, right? So oftentimes when we're doing bridges, we'll just come to like right here. But I want you guys to really, really think about squeezing those glutes, getting that full contraction, pushing those hips up as high as you can, and then coming back down. And that's 45 seconds right there, good. Go ahead and slowly come on up. We're gonna move to curtsy lunges. So these are gonna engage our glutes as well as our quads, okay? So in this, you guys, we're going to, it's kind of like a curtsy. You're gonna step back and behind, okay? Ready? Let's go ahead and do all our right side for about 20 seconds and then we'll switch. Here we go. So back and down and up. So if this hurts your knee to kind of curtsy and step behind, if this hurts that knee, what I want you to do is just do a reverse lunge, stepping straight back, okay? Either one works. And again, if you wanna make it harder, grab those dumbbells, hang them by your side. Okay, now let's go ahead and switch sides. Right leg back, left leg is forward. Good, how are you guys feeling? Good. Yeah? So you should be feeling this up this quad and into your glute, okay, you guys? Good and stand it up rest. All right, you guys, modifications here. We haven't really had to do too many, but if that was hurting your knee, we're gonna just step straight back into that reverse lunge. Also on these lunges, you can just go a little bit, a little bit more shallow, okay? All right, we've got anterior reaches up next. Let's keep that right leg fixed, and we're gonna reach our right hand towards the floor. Here we go. All right, 20 seconds here, and then we'll switch. So in this one, you'll notice that Natalie here with our modification, she is keeping that back toe like a kickstand on the floor. Okay, you guys, so it's kind of assisting her balance and she's just bending over as low as she can, okay? So ideally, if you can, come all the way down to the floor like Amy's doing, okay? Switch sides, get your balance on that left leg and here we go. My balance on my left side's way worse. Is it for you guys? <laughs> so something I found that helps is if you pick a spot on the floor and just stare at it, that's gonna help your balance. And last one right here. Good, you guys. So that was gonna work our hamstrings up into our glutes as well. We've got our cardio finisher, okay, you guys? High-low jump squats. We're gonna do this. Natalie, modification, she's gonna be doing body weight squats. So watch her, and here we go. So high-low jump squats, you guys. You tap the floor, you reach up. Whew. Good, you guys, so notice the Amy. She's coming all the way to the ground and reaching, jumping as high as she can. Good, you guys. Body weight squats are our modification. You're halfway through, you guys. If at any time you need to just take a breather, shake it out, go for it, okay? 
Good, 15 more seconds. Perfect, you guys. Keep it going, 10 more seconds. Are you guys feeling okay at home? Keep going, okay, push it really hard. Right here, finish strong. Three, two, and one. Whew. How you doing? Good. That was amazing. Good job, you guys. I mean, I, I, we're not done yet, okay? We're celebrating like we're done. <laughs> we got one more round. All right, let's not rest too long. Let's go right into our walking lunges, okay? Ready, and here we go. So, you guys, if you're not quite ready, take these a little bit easier, okay? We are pushing your endurance a little bit here by not letting you rest very long after those jump squats, okay? So if you need to just take it a little bit slower, let your heart rate come down, that's totally fine, okay? How are you guys doing? Yeah? Heart rate's coming down a little bit. Good. If you need to modify these further, what I want you guys to do is just not go quite as low, okay? If it's just a little bit of a lunge, that's totally fine. And last one, good. Whew. My heart rate's about down. <laughs> we're like, we're getting there, we're getting there. Let's come into our bridges, okay? Come on down to the floor. Okay, now we can rest, right? All right, not so much. Ready, here we go, bridges. Up and down. Good, squeeze and down. Up and squeeze, let's do what we did last time, okay? Up and hold right here, hold, 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 hold. Now push up a little bit harder, squeeze, hold it for three, two, one, and continue with your reps. Good, you guys. Adding that little isometric hold in there is just kind of fun. Kind of gives you a good little, good little amplifier. Good, up and squeeze. Hips as high as you can, make sure you're pushing through those heels, okay? Wiggle your toes for me at home. Wiggle your toes. That's gonna make sure you're pushing that weight through your heels. How you feeling, Amy? Good. Up, up, up and squeeze. And that's it, go ahead and rest. Nice job, you guys. We've got our curtsy lunges, okay? So, watch Natalie for our modification, okay? She's gonna go just not quite as deep, all right? You guys ready? Yeah. All right, right leg first, and here we go. Good. If you can, I want you stepping back and to the side and coming down nice and low. Let me show you from the side, okay? That's the bottom. If you can do that, if it doesn't hurt your knee, you're gonna really feel it in this glute, okay? Last one and switch legs, okay? Left leg stays stationary and right leg comes back. Good, you guys. Keep breathing. I know it's hard because we did that cardio burst in the middle and then we kept on going, but this is good for you. Good, five more seconds. Good, and that's it, shake it out. We got our anterior reaches, okay? Now this is a hamstring and a glute exercise. So let's go ahead and plant our right foot. Right hand comes down, reaching as close to the floor as you can, okay, ready? And here we go. So on this one, you guys, what I don't really want you doing, I want your core nice and tight. I don't really want you rounding your back like this, okay? If you can't keep your back flat, then just don't reach down as far. That's totally fine, okay? So see how Amy, she can keep her back flat and she's going all the way to the floor. That's perfect. And switch legs. If you can't quite get to the floor with a flat back, that's fine. Just go as low as you can. Focus on pushing those hips back and then forward. Hip hinging, okay? Back and forward, good. See how Natalie has this back foot as a kickstand, assisting her balance, that's totally fine too. All right, you guys, that's it. 15 second rest. Then we got our jump squats. You guys ready? Yes! Amy's gonna kill this one. She's gonna do it, she's gonna do it. All right, modification is body weight squats. All right, guys, here we go, 45 seconds. And go, all the way down to the floor. Good. When you come all the way to the floor, you guys, you're really lengthening that glute here, and then it's power, hips forward, okay? You're gonna feel this in your glutes tomorrow. I know you guys are. Whew! Take a little rest if you need to, you guys. Jump right back in when you can. You see what I did there? I said, I said jump right back in when you can, okay? 
Jump right back in when you can. Whew. 10 seconds. Finish out strong, guys. This is the end of the workout, okay? I want you to jump the rest of the time right here. Three, two, and that's it. Oh, man. That was amazing. Great job, you guys. That was tone legs and butt. Had a great time with you. We will see you guys next time.